Hi everyone, this is Homeopathy 1x1 with Victoria. In this video I will talk about acne and how to treat it. And acne never occurs in the right place or at the right time. It can only take a few days and then it will go away on its own or we can push our face thinking that if it's emptied sooner it will pass sooner. But very often a pimple does not go away in a few days but not in a few weeks. Prolonged acne is selected by the homeopath based on individuals symptoms including but not limited to acne symptoms. If you are talking about a problem that has excised for several, several years then chronic treatment is recommended. But let's look at a few proven remedy where we can use at home to treat acne. Hepper sulfur is characterized by very painful pimples. They feel like a shard under the skin. Injuries are very sensitive to touch and may be cold. Inflammations can form mainly on the forehead in a larger group that are purulent. Faded pimples can stink. In general, a person can be very cold and hypersensitive to pain, touch and cold. Calcium sulfuricum is characterized by severe cytic acne. Injuries can last for weeks and do not heal quickly. The yellow creamy pus lasts a long time. The skin looks unhealthy with yellowish fungal rashes. Acne develops on the face, ears and near the hairline. Prolonged uh, predisposition to sinus ear and tonsil infection is common with this drug. The person may be warm-blooded and worse with any symptoms in warm rooms. Potassium bromatum, acne, begins in adolescence and continues almost non-stop until adulthood. Blue, red pustules on the face, chest and shoulders that leave scars, purple spots or depressions in the skin. The middle of the pimples can be painful, appearing in large red cysts with a white or yellow center. In women, acne can get worse near the menstrual period. Their complaints get worse from the heat. Pulsatilla. Acne that usually occurs in young girls and is associated with an onset of puberty. Acne related to menstruation, especially if irregular or absent, or pregnancy. These people are usually not thirsty people. They cry a lot, but they love being comforted. They also like cold, cool air and gentle air movement. Silicea Characterized by deep heart cystic acne, especially on the face. Acne is often accompanied by less spectacular purulent or no purulence at all. They heal very slowly, but after healing, scaly scars remain. They are characterized by fatigue, may lack strength and confidence, but are persistent in their own ideas. Sulfur acne is typically of people with very oily skin. Their skin is very rich in blackheads. Acne whites are very large but not as deep. The face, especially the nose, is usually the affected area and usually turns red. Acne is painless but can itch. The skin can be rough and worse from washing. Acne can be more severe from heat before menstruation and from fatty food. This medicine is mainly used for rosacea, a redness of the face that caused acne. I hope I was able to provide useful information again in this section as well and you will reach out to your home pharmacy with your hands 
to select the most suitable homeopathy remedy for your symptoms. Let's heal naturally without side effects. Let's meet in the next episode where we will be exploring another interesting topic. Goodbye!